And welcome mm-hmm. to the latest anime news for the week ending January 28th, 2024. Gundam Seed Freedom earned five million US dollars at the box office. Yeah, I know the font's small. Apologies. Um Tasuketsu is getting a TV anime this. Oh, I'm sorry. Um Tasuketsu is getting a TV anime this year. The Boy and the Heron got an Oscar nomination. A, yeah, a former exec of Crunchyroll and Viz is launching an anime consultancy service. And a yeah, a boatload of anime announcements. Um, so let us go ahead and get into the headlines. All right. So we're looking at Expelled from Paradise. So if you watched the uh, the first one in uh, 2014, Expelled from Paradise, your nine year wait is over. You get a second movie, a a, a sequel, and that is um, that is uh, what what was it called here? Now it is called oh, Liberated from Paradise, mm-hmm. and uh, so they have a key visual and a little bit of a trailer video of a person walking in snow, and that's what we got. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, um, looks like much of the staff is returning, so that's good. Yeah, um, also uh, another anime announcement uh, Tasuketsu, the manga, is getting a TV anime adaptation this year. It's a um, death game kind of an anime, <laughs> you know, yeah. um, you know, do you want to live or die battle royale kind of a thing. Uh, what is kind of notable is that the Director is Tatsuo Sato, who directed Martian Sets on a Desco. Um, oh, okay. So, pretty well known director. Also directed uh, Flower of Renee, other stuff. Um, so, interesting to get somebody of that caliber or something like that. So, here's hoping it's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. When I first uh, read that, I, I thought it was like, oh, Squid Game. Okay. There we yeah, go. yeah. 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 <laughs> kind, of, kind of thing going. I didn't know that uh, uh, from the Desco was, was, was doing that. That's nice. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Definitely. All right, so we have get yet another, uh, let's see here, visual novel game that's going to anime, and it's mm. a wonderfully titled one. It's called What's a Flat-Chested Girl Like Me to Do on an Island Straight Out of a Porn Game? Well, that seems very um, uh, prim and proper. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, you know, it's, it's rated G. If your kids watch Paw Patrol, they they should be able to enjoy <laughs> this with, with no problem. Mm-hmm. Um, so... Um, it basically, this the story. Well, you know, funnily enough, apparently, a uh, story of a resistance group called the No Love No Sex, and they're and they're fighting the 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 pervert law and its sex crazed proponents on Seiran Island. So I I think this is um, hijinks ensue. I, yes. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. <laughs> yeah. Um, interesting, shall we say? Um, also getting an anime out of Tono to Inu, aka The Lord and the Dog, about a uh, man who was once a samurai and he now lives a quiet, humble life, but came across a corgi. And I think lovableness ensues, I would assume. Yep, there we go, just like Ayn. So it's what, what if <laughs> I read this and I said, What if this was Ayn? It's a kaying <laughs> to the and Goku period. That would I would I would definitely read that manga. I would I would I would I would, I would I would I would watch that. Yes. <laughs> All right. So for those of you who are fans of the healer who was banished from his party is actually the strongest uh, light novel series. You will get an anime. Welcome, welcome. Hey. Mm-hmm. Uh, a buddy Isekai, apparently. Uh, I have not. I've not read the manga, yeah. but um, a, a, a character named Ross and his friend Narusina, and apparently it's about them moving through the world and actually finding other people that they knew from a past life that have Isekai. If I understand correctly. Ah, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Cool. Um, also, getting a uh, CGI film of Pui Pui Molkar. So some of you may remember this. I think it had a small yes. but strong following um, from various folks. Uh, it was a stop motion series from 2021, I think, um, which was which used like stop motion wool felt puppets. And they're now making a CG animated film of this sometime this year. Yay. Yeah. I think John liked that one, didn't he? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Cuteness abounds. Cuteness, Cuteness abounds. abounds, exactly. 
All right. Not so cute, but still interesting. Uh, Space Brothers. Um, this is an anime that I've been actually been meaning to watch. It, it's kind of piques my interest. Uh, but the manga is ending, but the anime is continuing. So hmm. if you like the anime, uh, I guess the story is going to continue further. Um, I don't think they're going to go in the One Piece direction, but <laughs> I, I, I. But it sounds like they've got some some life in the anime that they still want to put out there. Mm-hmm. Um, and apparently the manga uh, has been, um, you know, pretty well received. It's been running since 2007, and wow. uh, yeah, so it's 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 pretty popular, uh, or at least it has a, has a dedicated fan base. So mm-hmm. we'll we'll see what happens. How 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 they deal with the because uh, that's always interesting because that's always been a, a a kind of existential problem with yeah. you know taking uh, making an anime out of a manga, especially when the manga is not done. You kind of yeah. get to that point where you're just like, oh, what do we do now? Well, we can't wait for the manga. Well, mm-hmm. now they can do whatever they want. Exactly. Exactly. Um, really cool to see them like decide. Here's what we're gonna do. Yeah. So good. Good for them. Uh, let's see here. Um, update to a previous news story. Good news, uh, actually. The uh, we announced. Uh, uh, I think it was last week or the week before. Mm-hmm. The Gonagai Wonderland Museum uh, suffered an earthquake and fire uh, around New Year's Day. And um, as you can see, it was bad. Thankfully, the original paintings and figurines have survived the fire. Um, not saying that they're in perfect condition, but they, they survived. They're <coughs> being moved and stored um, in Wajima City. Um, the studio says that they took fireproofing measures during the construction and renovation of the building. Like that was one of wow. the things they were concerned about. So they said, yes, it kind of worked. Um, I should add on, Go Nagai said, uh, um, uh, he said, uh, even if much is lost in the museum, as I can make an artist, I can just draw it all again. Of course he can, because <laughs> he is Go freaking Nagai. That's, exactly. that's, that's, that's it. That's all you need to know, folks. Exactly. But good to know. Good, yes. good news there. Yes. Happy news. Speaking of happy news, uh, we have the first slam dunk film. Earns, and it's not the first slam dunk is actually titled (laughs) the first slam dunk Uh, so this movie takes place prior to the slam dunk um previous mm -hmm. movie if you can follow that 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 line of logic there um (laughs) (laughs) uh so it did a one day revival uh uh, revival screening uh on tuesday this past tuesday in japan and it did about uh looks like to be um 130 million or about 880 thousand dollars us which is okay. actually pretty good for a one-day total for for something yeah. like that. that's a revival screening um you know and uh so you know the, the first slam dunk is is telling the story the pre-story and um we're supposed to, i think we're supposed to get this pretty soon um yeah. in in so. here in um i'm looking at the notes trying to find where that is um I don't know if it's been confirmed yet, but I think they yeah, are. yeah, sometime and this year, happening. yeah, yep. it's happening. So if you are a, a fan of Slam Dunk, which was ridiculously popular back <laughs> in its day, um, you got the first Slam Dunk. There we go. And and make exactly. sure when you rent it or get it on on streaming, you get the right Slam Dunk. Yeah, exactly. Um, the the first Slam Dunk, not the first Slam Dunk. Dunk, right? Have fun with that. Um, also, Rising of the Shield here is getting a fourth season. Not much to say about that other than awesome poster. Yeah. Like, that's a really cool image. Good for you, but it's just getting a fourth season, all the normal stuff. So, yay. Woo-hoo. Uh, all right. Um, coming up after the break in the full version of the video, we're going to talk about Gundam Seed Freedom earning a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Uh, this new anime consultancy firm. The Oscar nom for the boy in the heron, um, and uh, we've already talked about Pukui and Car, so we probably won't talk about that, but that's okay. Because <laughs> uh, right now we're going to talk about the data. The data. Da. <coughs> Crunch them numbers. Really? Mm-hmm. 